How do you know? Above, down, inside, out. This is probably a term that you're not familiar with, but in chiropractic and many healthcare professionals, they understand this is exactly how all the information is transferred inside of our body. I'm Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic Center, and I wanna welcome you to your 10 minute Tuesday talk. I love the fact that we get to break down the body as far as how it functions, how it works, and to keep it really, really simple. This phrase, this, this saying, adio, above, down, inside, out, is one in which describes how all information is transferred from that master system into your body so that things work the way they're supposed to, and then continues to allow the body to function at that optimal level. Now, this is a chart that many of you, if you've been under chiropractic care, have probably have seen in your chiropractor's office. This is called a merit chart. Basically, it's Embryology 101. And in turn, this describes exactly how your brain communicates with every single part of the body. It's capable of sending signals down through the spinal cord, over the spinal nerves to every single part of your body, because this is how you were designed. This is how each and every one of our bodies was created. So in the beginning, as those two cells inside of our mother's womb came together, as they multiplied, divided, continued to, to create more and more cells, the very first thing that demonstrated itself was called the primitive streak, the notochord. And in turn, that was exactly what forms our nervous system. Your brain, it creates signals at 100%. It doesn't hold things back and say, hey, listen, I'm only gonna give you 90 or 85%, I'm gonna conserve myself. It's never going to say, I'm going to give you 110, 150% of what you need. Oh, no. Your body creates the signal. Your brain creates the signal at 100% of what you need. And in turn, it transfers it down through that spinal cord and then out into every single part of the body. Now, for those of you who think that maybe this is just a chiropractic thing and this this phrase, this adio, this above, down, inside, out, maybe that's just something that chiropractors use. Absolutely not. You're gonna see right on this chart. This particular chart comes out of the 29th edition of Gray's Anatomy. Gray's Anatomy has been around for a long period of time. And the, em and the embryological process, in other words, how we were formed, has been consistent over time. It has not changed. And as there's over, well over a hundred different versions and publications of Gray's Anatomy, we realize that in the end, this process is lived out day after day in the formation of bodies. And in turn, this is how each and every one of us function. Now, it is based upon one particular piece of information. And that is that as your brain creates a signal at 100%, it's able to transfer information and get it out to the tissues at 100%. We know there's a slight problem. It's called subluxation. It's when the bones come out of place, causes interference or a disconnection of that normal flow of information. And in fact, it causes whatever's connected to the other end not to be able to work properly. In our office at the Limerick Chiropractic Center, we utilize a lot of muscle testing. So we're able to demonstrate very easily how it is that those subluxations will cause a weakness in the tissue. And in eliminating those subluxations, we then get to see how that strength just simply returns. That normal function comes back again. And maybe me describing that isn't the best way of doing this. Maybe we should have that visual. And this is what's called the safety pin cycle. Very simple, very easy, but the visual helps us understand something that's really complex. 
the afferent, the efferent pathways that transfer information through our nervous system. In other words, how the brain talks to the body and how the body is able to send signals back to the brain. Now, when we have this constant closed loop, our body's able to work perfectly the way it's supposed to. The brain communicating with the body the, exactly the way it's intended. But when we have those subluxations, just like you see on the right hand side of your screen, how those red arrows appear. Well, there's a breakdown. There's this interference from us being able to communicate the way we're supposed to. And anytime we have that break in communication, bad things are going to happen. Disease processes are going to start. And unfortunately, we're going to be working at less than 100%. And if we read through Webster's Dictionary on what is health, I love the de definition. It's not just that our body works the way it's supposed to, but it works at 100%. As your chiropractor, my job is to find those subluxations, fix them, and leave it alone. Let your body do exactly what it was created and designed to do. I love that we get to take very complex, very difficult concepts and break that down very simply. In fact, one of the things I recognize, and in fact, in these just few minutes, many of you probably have a greater level of understanding about how your body transfers information. Now, I do know there's a lot of people out there. They don't know what you know about chiropractic. They certainly don't know what you know about how the body communicates, how it works, how it's capable of transferring information. And this is why we ask you to share this information. Share this information so that more people in your community are capable of learning and understanding how the body truly works, how it's supposed to be functioning, and also equally as important, how it's supposed to be maintained. We as doctors of chiropractic, we recognize the fact that our purpose is to detect and correct these subluxations. And in the moment of doing it, our job is completed. It's done, which means we get to allow the body to do what it was created to and designed to do, to function at that optimal level. As always, we ask you to do three things with these videos. Number one, hit the like button. That just simply helps to make sure that we know that you've gotten this information. Number two is to leave me a comment. Tell me what you take away from this video. Maybe it's something new that you learned. Maybe it's a reminder of what you already have learned but had forgotten about. And then the third thing, like I asked, is to make sure that you share this information with others. We realize that we don't know how far reaching something that we're going to say or do is going to be able to affect the lives of millions tomorrow. But what we do recognize is that it's our responsibility to take action. I'm Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic Center.